Check out the stream real quick. the stream real quick. Let's uh just wanna make sure we're actually live. There we go, yeah, right on. And it looks half decent. Sweet. Alright. Well, this, this house here has, uh, let's get all this ice off. Come on, you fuck. Get out of here. Just clearing the way for this valley installation. We'll get to it in a minute. I'm the client, but my client, my wife, uh, went with um, the uh, the black onyx color, and this roof is gonna look good when it's done. And my wife builds houses. Tracks us to do the roof. So there you go. Now you know. Let's get this all ice all cleared up here. Because you don't really want that to be between the metal when you're done okay got that all cleared up and grab the valley piece I'm only here for a couple hours today so I thought let's do a let's do a live stream and get some work done at the same time Grab another valley. Let's see if you guys. Two should be enough. Let's 
let's whip this valley off. Um, I'm gonna need, do I have those? <laughs> Chances are, I don't. Do I? Maybe I do, maybe I don't. Um, you know what I do have are these bad boys. And you know what I am gonna do? Maybe find a two by four that I can screw to the roof. And I think I might need a block and my detailing here. I'll leave that for now. Okay. Let's just get a two by four going. Dun, 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 dun. These two come up with me in a minute. Well, let's get a two by four. Just in case things get a little dicey up there. I hate, I hate chicken boards that aren't fully flat on the ground or on the roof, you know what I mean? There we go. Okay. And that one's good. Sure, we're clear of the valley path and got some beefy screws. We can hit truss with. Right here. There's one. Just look. You can see the nail pattern from the framers. That's where your truss is, your fascia. Nails typically are gonna be on the fascia. So I line them up with the, with the nail there. That's not going anywhere. Let's 
see all right Yeah, looks good. Two will be plenty for that. All right, let's grab the valley and we'll get rolling here. Shovel. Can you just stand up on your own without me having to do anything? Oh, I need these two. All right, let's go. All right, up we go. Hey, see Odie? He's in the. He's in the house. Can you guys see that? He's in that window there. Maybe not. All right. Go. One thing I forgot I had was a this um, really awesome document. Oh fuck, I gotta move my ladder over. This really awesome document that, uh, make sure this doesn't fall on, fall on my fucking head. Uh, I got this really awesome document from some Facebook group. I can't, can't even remember where, but I saved it. And it's blurry as all hell. So, ow. Ow, fucking son of a bitch. Um, blurry as all hell. So I'm probably gonna have to uh, restore it. But it tells you valley angles, valley and hip angles. And it's like a chart, it's like a grid chart. And if you have a 1012 running into a 412 like this, and that's what I use. I use this this chart to get that valley. I didn't even I didn't even come up here with an angle finder like I normally do and grab the angle. But um, okay. Anyways, this chart's really cool. I'll uh, have to share it with you guys one of these days. Okay, well, it's a little bit webbed down there. It'll be fine. Anyways, I run this off the the edge there, making sure I'm where I like. Making sure I'm. Let's see. Let's see. Let's go off the edge here a bit. Up here, this is where it's gonna lay. All right, because I have it overhanging down there so it's not going to go any lower and it can't go any higher obviously so uh you know what i don't really want to put a screw here so let's put clips instead and i'm gonna need to grab freaking more of those so i just take a, a clip standing seam clip pull it down like that and you have a Valley clip. Yeah, probably gonna get in the comments that you're doing it wrong, Alex. And uh, you know what? Instead of doing that, actually, no, we'll put one in. We can put one in. Let's just put one in. Make sure it stays where I want it to stay. Like that. So now the top can't move and I can screw around with the bottom make sure I am right where I want to be 
And then once I have that, I can get a couple lines here. They don't have to meet. They just have to be the two lines. And then I can take it off. I don't like doing cutting this stuff in place because it gets a little janky. But we'll be able to put that right back in where it was before. Okay, so here we have, oops, I don't know why I even have that. So I got these two lines. Yeah, and I want them to connect so we can cheat them a little bit like that. Pretty close, pretty close, pretty close. And then I can make a nice little, it's going to be like, I, I don't go anymore in th seven eighths. Three quarters minimum, seven eighths max, don't go an inch. It'll scratch the face of your, oops, it'll scratch the face of your starter. Okay. And these are, well, I found, I found some 26 gauge in my shop. These are 26 gauge, but most of the trims on this uh, job are 24. Mainly because I'm using the coil material to uh, to make the trims too. Okay, leave that there. We can, yeah, yeah, yeah. We can cut that. Okay, like that. Just cut him straight in. Trying to keep it clean, boys. Trying to keep it clean. Uh, if you're not here on the live, this these get saved. Well, it's kind of pointless in me saying that because if you are listening to this, you aren't live. <laughs> uh, my roofer brain kicks in every now and then. All right, here we go. Let's do this. Bend on my line. Like so, same as here. gets hooked. How about we move that to where it's supposed to be? Okay. Right in the clutch. Let's get this back in. Same hole. Okay. And I keep it from sliding now. I'm gonna give this a little, a little hook over like that. Okay, it locks it in. That's locked in at the bottom. Just gonna give it a little squeezy squeeze.
Okay, just like that. Sorry, y'all. Alex here. Oh, okay, what, uh, am I supposed to be there now? Oh, okay. Text message would be great. That's right. Yep. That's my wife's cell. Thanks so much. All right, you too. Bye. All right. Sorry. Get out of here. Uh, what time we got? That's good. We're making making good progress. How's the stream doing? Two are watching. Welcome to the stream. Drop comments. Make sure you drop a like. Thanks so much. How are you doing? Right. There we go. Bye. Anywho, so I'm gonna turn this off. That's good. Making good, making good. Okay. I'm gonna take this clip, squeeze it, and fold this bag over, and you have a valley clip. I'd rather use these personally because they have a hole in it already. Look at that. But also, watch this. Check this out. The, uh, I don't know if you can see this, but this back, this kind of, this down lip here, see that right there? It curves so nicely over the back of this right there so it keeps it from shifting sideways it's just a really nice nice design i mean it's not really even designed for it i just decided one day hey let's let's give it a try and like look at that it just hugs it so good right there i mean th these are the valleys we use i use these on uh anything 412 and above damn i gotta go get more Sorry, y'all. It is live, so I don't get to edit this part out. Usually on videos, I get to edit this part out, but not when you're live, bro. Oh, there. Um, let's dial that in a bit. Oh, yeah. That looks nice. Doesn't that look nice? All right. Take some scrap with me. Okay, so yeah, I use those those valleys. I just hooked those panels into that one inch hook on. And uh, I should probably go check on my dog. He's inside, I take him with me. Uh, before I forget, this is what I do. I come down for something, completely forget what I'm coming down for. I don't need that many. Where's the dog? Hey, where are you? Oh, there you are. Hey, you okay? You got a coat on. Huh? Let's say hi to everybody. Hello. This is Odie. He's the ASM 101 mascot. Hey, buddy. Okay. We're going to be gone soon. After I'm done this piece, we're going to be gone. All right? All right. We'll see you in a minute. Don't let anyone in. Okay. Okay, I got the clips. Let's go clip this valley off and I'll show you how I lap the valley. I mean, why not, right? Okay. Okay. 
Uh, yeah. Let's do it. I got all my valley pieces up here. Yeah, I don't need to take them. So, I, like I was saying, I got this really cool... Uh, it's like a chart. It's a valley uh, hip, valley hip chart. So, uh, I'll show it to you. I'll sh maybe, I don't know if I gotta make a video. Maybe I'll make a video about it. It's kind of cool. But the this, this end, this angle here, I actually just got it off of a chart. I didn't have to do any kind of silly math equations because I am not about the math equations but uh, yeah no this chart spells it out and I'm sure there's an equation to make the chart but that's we'll leave that to we'll leave that to the mathematicians anyways this chart gave me this angle and look at it fit perfectly and how you read the chart is okay well I have a so that's a 1012 roof Roof I'm sitting on is a 412 and you just look it's like you follow it's like battleship right you go 412 over 1012 down and right there on the chart tells you the angle of your valley or your hip so this hip for example would be a 412 going into a 412 so you would look at the 412 hip and boom you have your you have your hip angle so there, how do you like them apples? I hate green apples, by the way. Um, gala all the way. Uh, put your favorite apple in the comment. Or comment your favorite goddamn apple. Now, the frequency at which I eat fruit is zero to none. But if I were to eat a fruit, it would be an apple, and it would be a Royal Gala apple. And you can try and change my mind, but it's not going to happen. So, that was random, but legit. Um... Dang, okay, see that? See what I'm talking about? Like, look at that. Like, it radiuses right around. I don't know if this matters to anyone, okay? But this matters to me. It just, what it does, it it just hugs that. Look at it. Gives this nice little hug on the back of that. And that cannot go, I mean, the screws are already there, fine. But the tighter this thing hugs that hook on, dude. There's, there's certain things that just get me going, and that, my friend, is one of them. Um, okay. So, but yeah, it's really, like, you, all you do is you just take a standing seam clip. I do them really fast now, because I do them all the time. So, I'll slow it down for you on the next one. Because you, you do need a special pair of, nah, no, you don't. That's bullshit. It is easier with the, it's easier with these uh, Stubai folders that I got. These ones here. So watch. So you take them, you take your clip in, you put them in like this, you squeeze, and you, f f I don't know what that motion's called, but you do that. And then uh, give it a little, Squeeze down so you open squeeze, but like look at that. It's beautiful. And then like you see how this this is angled up a bit? That won't interfere with my uh when I hook my panels. And then like, okay, fine, like uh, you know, making you can make your own valley clips and like maybe they're you know, they're gonna, if you break it all down, it's cheaper per clip. But then, like, I, I haven't, I haven't, uh, I haven't spent any time with a break making these. I'm, I'm just right here, you know what I mean? You just grab the clips from the, from your clip box. And you, 
you can say, oh, I have clips for the roof and I have clips for my valley. And I, well, some guys don't use clips fine, but I do. And this is really helpful. So if you don't like it, go clip a valley. <laughs> oh, dang. So those them, jet, them dad jokes be coming out. So here, I'm just clipping the piss out of this. I'll finish it, right? Um, so I'm great at starting. I'm just really fucking horrible at finishing. Or I finish too quick. <laughs> uh, okay, never mind. Sorry. It's, uh, it's my stepdaughter's birthday today. So after this, I'm only going to spend a couple hours here. Okay, one more clip. That'll do. Oh yeah, and this this hook on here, it kind of acts as a clip. So you you technically have a clip here while it's hooked on, so it can't lift, and then clip clip. So you I'm you know every 24 inches, every 24 inches, I'd be clipping. Every 24 inches, I'd be clipping. And, uh, yeah, snow sucks. Hands up if snow sucks. Okay. It's all done. A little... Okay, so let me just show you something real quick over here. Okay? You see this? It's nothing... I don't have... Technically, I don't have any screws in the valley holding it on so by right this valley and snow like the amount of snow we get here can and it does have the power to push that valley right through all this okay so the best that we have to i don't like putting any screws in the valley itself in, anywhere in the valley field at all so how do we how do we clip it so i did this let me just show you and i do it on the on the steep side right so water will cascade over that better if you're doing it here on the four on the low slope lower slope side i mean you're you're leaning the wrong way so let's lean the right way and put it on the steep side and all i'm doing and you do it on you do it higher on the valley you don't do it on the on the low part of the valley but you just cut a little sliver you don't cut all the way in you cut about not even halfway it doesn't have to be that much just i would say three eighths of an inch in and you fold that over like that and you see how it's gonna push against that and because i have two screws in the clip I won't get pivoting from the clip. So that clip will not move, period. Because it's so tight around that hook on, it, it, it can't, the, the valley can't shift this way or that way. So valley can't go this way. Valley can't go up, because one, it's hooked, and two, gravity. <laughs> uh, and it now it can't go down. So we've, we've eliminated every direction of movement this valley can go. And uh, I can sleep better at night knowing that. Okay. How are we doing on the stream? And what time is it? 11.30. They can't go up. Because one, okay. it's and two, gravity. Biber, Biber. Uh, eliminated every direction of movement this valley can go. Okay, and, uh, and I'm going to X out of that because that's boring. And now let's complete the, the thing here. So I'm going to, I got to take this valley into here. And we're at a, a funny crossroads here because we have this um, situation occurring. And I, I turn the valley up the wall but i don't like to notch it so i'll show you what i do about that 
and I'll show you how I connect them, how I lap them. Um, let's do, let's not do that. I'm not gonna, I'll, that's, that's not right now. What right now is, is I wanna get my angle for my top miter. There. Or there, yeah. So, what I'm doing is, actually it can be, really can be anywhere. So, let's do, let's just take a clip, because I don't want this to move on me. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna just randomly put a clip. Just so it doesn't go anywhere on me. I like where it is here. I am center of the road down there. So I'm gonna put a clip here, which is above the lower piece. So when I'm done, I can actually install the clip here, minimizing the penetrations in the uh, roof membrane, which I'm a big fan of. Okay, so that's not gonna go anywhere now. And it's secured exactly in the in the path it's gonna take, if that makes sense. I, I don't know, I'm trying to figure out different ways of explaining things because, um, anyways. So, what we do up here is, huh, you know, I'm gonna go get a ruler, because that'll be easier to see. Uh, it's live, so walk with me, y'all. Walk with me, y'all. Walk with me, y'all. And I don't have my deep, like my super deep tongs with me. So I gotta use, I gotta, I gotta manhandle it. But we can do that, we can do it. I've had to do it before. Cause it's not the first time I forgot my tongs. What, what am I doing? See, I do this all the freaking time. Oh yeah, ruler. I do this all the time. Maybe it's a, I don't know, magnesium thing. You guys take anything for, you guys do any biohacking? Here we go. Okay, this is the Klein. We call this the Klein. It's in inches. See that? And it's my, uh, my, what do you, I don't know, what do you call these? It's a ruler that collapse, a collapsible ruler. Want to do collapsible ruler? Odie, what's up, bud? Don't worry. Another 20 minutes, half an hour, and we're out. Okay, so I want to show you the step off method of achieving this miter line. So, I don't, I mean, I'm using, I'm using a ruler, but I'm not using, you know, four kinds of measurements. I'll show you what I'm doing. Okay, so like I said, I've positioned this well. Take my pencil, take my pencil. Now, I want this to return up the wall lots, so, at least six inches because I have a wall flashing that returns well I return up this wall six inches up the cheek of this dormer and then here same thing six inch minimum so what I want so on let's say this side it's gonna, the line's gonna be like this. So you can see this would be my short side, this would be my long side. So this side we have to make six inches. So I'm gonna do, if I want this to return up the wall six inches, I'm gonna make a mark here at six inches. Okay, so six inches. Now I take fancy dancy over here, this ruler. Let's extend it out a little more. Okay, and then up here, I, le I let it run along 
the top of the valley until it hits the wall bonk like that and I get a number here of 12 inches on the money so let's yeah do 12 inches till it hits 12 inches and then all I what I do now is I bring the ruler down to this line and hit it in till it till it hits and I mark 12 so I'm gonna put that right in the in the center so that's 12 and then here same number again 12 but you got to make sure you're staying true to this line into the wall this is what I call the step off method okay so let's do that you guys can try this at home and then there's there I've established the miter lines see that from here to here from there to there and I've stepped this line off on my metal okay let's do this up a little bit all right and then let's do uh, yeah sure let's do it like that okay so i connect those two and i connect these two let's do those over like that like that so now I have my six inches, I have my miter line, and now I can fold that up on that line. Now a lot of guys will, me included, I used to do this too before I found out about pockets. But before I would notch all the way in, fold that up, fold that up. You know what I mean? So and then I would cock in behind, shove it in, and call it a day. But instead, what we do now is I'm going to notch this. Okay. And I'll notch this. Hopefully, I still got battery on my GoPro. How are we doing? Okay, cool, we're still good. What we do now is I'm gonna notch this. I'm gonna notch this. Hopefully I still got battery on my There we go. Go. Be with you in a minute. Yeah, so this is live, y'all. I don't you don't get to I don't get to edit any of this out. Okay, so anyways. So here I've notched them both. Okay, and I can take this off now. Okay. Put that aside. This is my belt. Take this off. And I know you guys are going to be way faster than me at this, but I like to show everything. Okay, so we open this up. The same over here. Actually, you know what? No, it's just the tape. So off this line, I can make my six inches like this. Like that. Because this is what's going to go up the just use those as guy uh, actually no I'm gonna cut them off because I gotta I gotta hand form this beast there we go okay Okay. 
Okay, so we got that all unfolded. I'll grab my pocket former. All this stuff here. Let's see if we can get something going here. So, it's obviously not deep enough, that's okay. We can still twist it in. So I want this to overlap onto this side. So when it's folded up, right on this line, when this folds up onto this line, I want this uh, funny looking square to overlap onto this square because that's the flow of water coming down off that roof and down. So I want it to cascade over. So that determines which way we twist our pocket formers here. And you can practice this with your friends at home. Okay. So I don't know why I say that, but actually here, instead of doing that, let's bend this first. Flatten this out. And this is why I need my deep tongs. But we could probably get away with maybe this. Give it a little bend. Maybe not. Oh, see, see how you flatten it out and then this becomes loose. So I'm gonna put my wood block or my plastic block here so it bends on that line. Like that. It's not 90 degrees, it's 412. Okay, but we're, we have an issue. And the issue is, cut these off so they don't dig into my roof. It's okay. The issue is now, the top of that valley squished down. So this is where the pocket form will come in to play. And we can twist this back to, back to shape. So, Let's take I'll take the bend out of this one a little bit. Squeeze this flat. Like that. the bend took that crease that valley crease out of it no it's not even there and what that does is it helps us to put a new crease in so here we go from the shortest point down excuse me right to there and I'm pointing this right at the at the, the valley bend I'm just gonna twist it like this When it's not deep enough, this is what happens. Adjust that. Okay. Okay, I just want to keep an eye and make sure that that's going where I want it to. Oh. pocket former allows that to happen and then I put it in the valley make sure I'm back to where I want to be see if we took um, 
instead of notching it, we're able to fold the metal like that. And then while it's in place, right? I'm gonna go with this one. This is 90 degrees here. I'm gonna push this in up there. Get it in, get this in the crease there, push it up. Once I have it where I like it, I'm gonna I'm gonna install my valley to finish now. And because I basically have that that situation dealt with, but I'll hammer it flat after I uh, I dial everything in down here. Okay, so this overlap, that's where the existing one is. I want to go six inches overlap because I'm not doing any sealant, but six inches is plenty. Okay, so six inches. It's about the, the lap of a shingle or more. I'm just going to square this off. This. Yeah. Cut this off. So that's my piece of valley that is pocket folded at the top. I'll leave this there. Okay. And what I'll do for this, I'm gonna open this up. Again, I don't notch this either. These can be opened right up. And hammered right back down. Okay. Like metal can stretch and bend into whatever, sh well, I wouldn't say whatever shape you want, but into shapes you, you weren't aware that metal could do, or shapes that metal could achieve. Unless you're showing it. So, I'm just going to open these up, kind of like wings. Oops, let's open this up some more. It looks messy, but it's highly effective in a valley situation. Let's get this right open. I like taking a little more time in these areas because, um, you know, if it goes south, uh, it's just, A, it's not good for your reputation, B, it's just going to cost you a lot of money having to come fix this, you know? Okay. One thing we got to make sure we do because we cut these, we got to open them back up. So when we hook our panels, they're not going to get interfered with. Okay, but no notching going on. Okay, these, this goes right here. I get this to where I like it, up there. Like so. Yeah, it's right in the crotch there, right in the crotch there, and I like it there. Okay, we'll leave that. We're gonna clip that right in place. You see how it's laying in there real nice? 
you see how that laying in there real nice everything is in this valley area is exactly where I want it to be sitting exactly how I want it to and then I'm gonna clip it right here remember that spot I hit oh here this clip was for there We got six inch overlap on that valley, which is yummy, yummy. Put this back in, get that back, make sure I'm where I want to be, and boom, hit that. And then we can clip, snip that clip. Like that. Oops. Yeah, that's right where I want it to be. Perfect. Okay. So I'm gonna finish clipping this. Sure, right down and in. And that's just gonna stay there, nice and tight there. Okay. And I gotta get it at least two more, otherwise this can pivot in there. So we'll get at least two more, and then we'll we'll uh, tie everything else in. Finished. We'll f I'm gonna show you how we finish that lap there. As long as I get enough battery, Are we still rolling. Sixteen Truman Road Ferry at rear. Okay. Um sure we're still live. Okay, cool. Okay. Alright, let's let's get this dusted off before my battery dies. Okay, I like where it is. Just gonna Finish that. You know, one thing I could have probably done better is get a chalk line in there and um, make sure it was all straight. But one way you can check too is put this line there, that line up there, and we're we're dead straight, so I'm happy with that. Okay. Uno mas on the clip. Uh, that's as much Spanish as I know. So, actually I'm, I'm trying to learn more. Because I do go to Mexico a lot. And, uh, maybe... I don't know, I'll live there one day. Who knows? But I just love the language. Uh, okay, so again, I want to snip the clip. Let's snip the clip high. Oh, sure. Put the clip too high, Alex. I'll snip this one. It's okay. Make sure it doesn't go anywhere on us. Okay. Okay. So because it's stationary, I wanna I'm gonna show you how I close this in. Cause I'm not notching anything. I'm just so I'm just I'm grabbing and I'm bending in front of the valley. So when it does get knocked over, see how I'm about an eighth away? I'm about an eighth away from this valley here. If, if it doesn't hug it tight, it's okay. What the, what the major importance is, is that it's curling over it with a substantial amount of metal. So I'm about an eighth away, and I'm, and then I can transfer that back to its original position 
down there. And the metal will stretch. The metal will stretch. See that? Especially 26 gauge, which is why. Let's do this. See how I angle my uh, my folders back down to the original bending position. So what happens is if 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 you just hammer them back tight, like without this allowance that I'm giving it, this these two bubble up. So this gets squeezed and this bubbles up. So, but with giving it that room to, to breathe, it doesn't bubble up and it, it lets the metal relax inside that bend. And it's, it stretches a little bit right there, but nothing crazy. Like, if it was a steep roof, I wouldn't be taking this much time with the Valley Lab. But you see, everything sits nice and flat now. I don't have to... It's just a nice joint, and there's no notching anywhere. It's just a nice way to do it. And I'm not cocking it, because I got six inches of overlap there. You know, like if this was a... If this was a shingle roof, you know, it would be might be less anyways so now that I have that that's done everything's locked into place all I got to do now is just hammer this flat See that? That's it. done I'm gonna get a screw up high just to hold it in right right now up here you know, but I really like this style of flashing because, and like down here, I don't go crazy. So it's, it's not not as neat as I like it because uh, my pocket four. I didn't have my my big uh, crimping tool here today, my deep tongs, but. It'll do, and nothing's notched. It's all pocket folded. So that's the installation of the valley. Got you, showed you how I did a bottom fold down there, uh, overlap up here, and a, and a top pocketed fold against the cheek of a dormer. So uh, thanks for being on the live. If you're here on the replay, Click the video on screen and uh, it'll bring you to some other cool stuff that we do on this channel. All right, bye for now.